Welcome back, this is Yamajak, and today we're going to do a little bit of Volter Manor. No, Zed, I like Zed Landing. We're going to do Zed Landing. So the second to last video to record for today. Looking forward to not talking again for a week. It's nice. It's nice. Now I've got a... Oh yeah, we played a D and d the other day. In um, Tabletop Simulator. That was a blast. It's the first time playing it in, on Tabletop Simulator. And uh, with this group, like, on a table, like, at all. Because before we were, we were, like, you know, somebody lives in Hong Kong. Somebody else is in, you know, not London, but, like, close enough. Um, I don't know the exact place where they live. And I wouldn't want to say it anyway. But, like, over there, we've got somebody who lives, like, East Coast America me over in west coast america so like we're playing it's 8 a.m for me it's like 11 o'clock in the afternoon for some or 11 o'clock in the morning for somebody else um for somebody else it's like what is that three or four o'clock in the afternoon and then for for the last person over in uh, china it's like uh 11 or 12 o'clock at night <laughs> like yeah, it's a miracle that we can make this work at all. It helps a lot during the quarantine because like nobody's doing anything, but still, it's it's, it's very impressive to me that we can uh, make it happen. Uh, anyway, we were playing it on Tabletop Simulator, which was a ton of fun because we haven't actually had. A proper cable before so it's just been like audio only basically and i'll send like pictures of something that i'm drawing or whatever at times but this time we had like a table and i was able to draw right on the table and like pull out pieces for all the enemies and uh, the characters and whatnot and made it a ton of fun and uh i'm starting to get into like designing maps in tabletop simulator we do not need to get all of these this time uh Starting to get into designing maps and whatnot in it because it's uh, it's just a ton of fun. It's an absolute blast. I guess I should be buying like one decal, sell it. Excuse me, goodness, goodness gracious. Buying like a decal, selling it, or buying a decal, dropping it, buying another decal, taking it back up to get like that little bit of extra ammunition when I'm just upgrading to a decal to get like just a little bit more ammunition out of it. Did I see somebody over here? Yeah, I saw a stalker, right? No, it was just a wave. Okay, maybe I did see somebody over there. Who knows, dude. I guess it's better to use the 1858s just from like an objective perspective because you're selling it anyway. But I just don't like it. I still have like, you know, 9 mil ammo, so I can still use that if I need to when I'm out of the vehicle ammo, which is uh, very useful, honestly. I don't think we're going to need to use that this time. I think we should be fine, especially since we have an ammo box right there. Like, we're going to be completely fine, but, you know, it is uh, definitely a thing. That I am realizing, so I'm, I'm gonna have to start using the 1858s on the the round one more, I think, just because you're selling it anyway. Like, why conserve that ammunition when you can conserve the the ammunition that you're still gonna have throughout the game? You know, not that it's expensive ammunition, but like, okay, so we did have to use it, but that's only because we didn't pick up the uh, only because we didn't pick up the ammo crate, okay? If I picked it up like I said I was gonna, I wouldn't have had any troubles. Okay? So I still say that I called it and uh, we were fine. Yo, come on. I almost sold the deagles. I don't know why I do that. Like, what's wrong with me? What is wrong with me? I wanna get down there. That should be enough time. This cat's back in the game. Yo. The area 
Yeah, we'll secure this area. Why not? Look at all these husks. Look at all these husk corpses. My least favorite type of word is. Can't remember. Wasps. Where you go like SPS. Like that wasp or um. Crisps. Like anything where you're like. I don't know. I just I hate that sound in a word. I'll do it when I'm talking to my cat. Okay, like, you know? But like, when I'm speaking, I'm like, I'm like, I don't know. Just, I guess maybe, maybe it's because I do it when I'm talking to my cat that I hate it in a word. So I'm like, I'm not talking to a cat. I don't have to be doing this, but it's, uh, please. Oh, goodness. This whole objective thing ain't working so hot for me right now, okay? Artist break. I think he's up here. So we walk backwards towards him. Where are we supposed to be at right now? Goodness gracious. I don't like this area so much because I can't see in all the foliage. The dang flora's getting in the way, dude. I'll just wait here until this crate comes. It's fine. Get a little bit of get a little bit of extra money from the uh, defending the zone. I'm not sure if you actually do because it doesn't seem like the score is going up at all. Who knows? I'm defending it though. I'm doing a great job of defending. Fairly secure. It's good enough. A little bit of dosh. A little bit of vosh. A little bit of XP. We're about like, uh, what is that, 30% of the way to uh, 25? It's not bad. It's not bad. We'll get it uh, probably next week, honestly. Pretty early on next week, I'm guessing, but uh, almost definitely next week, not this week. I mean, we have one more episode to go after this, unless I do like an endless run. No, no, we're not doing an endless run. Sorry. I don't want to do one. I'm like, maybe I will, but then I'm like, eh, if I did it, I'd do it on Zashiki right now. And if I did an endless run on Zashiki, it would probably go on a lot longer than I really want right now so we're just gonna not do it and uh, say we didn't sound good sound good I'm glad we're on the same page here I think that you might get like yeah you get XP for killing Zeds while you're standing inside it I've never looked up like how the zone defense thing works, but you get XP for killing them while you're standing in the zone. So you don't actually have to wait there like I was doing. That's not how it works. I wonder if you get more for killing them while they're outside it, or if you get more for killing while they're inside it, or if it's the same. And you just don't get XP for doing it if there's too many inside. I bet it's the, the last one where you just don't get it if uh, there's too many. Because, you know, otherwise Berserkers are just kind of screwed, right? I kind of like this area, though. Like, it ain't, a, it ain't a bad area for killing Zeds, you know? It ain't too shabby. Goodness gracious me. Let's see if we can jump on him. Nope. Can I Goomba stop you? Nah. My work was flawless. Let's 
Look at all that lava. Look at it all. It turns all the water into lava. You'd think that it would like. Uh, I don't wanna. I don't wanna. You can't make me. Where is she? I don't hear her. Oh, she's coming here. She should be coming through there. Yeah, she's right there. Okay, this one I think shouldn't be too bad of a spot for taking her out because of uh, a lot of the rubble all over the place. Also, as long as goodness gracious, as long as I can just get her down a little bit, like pretty quickly as well, then it's honestly not even really a big problem in the first place. Because once her once her cannon's gone, she's honestly a total pushover. Except for that one time when I died while she was, and I was like talking about how easy she is and possibly look her cannon's not gone yet so she's not a pushover yet if i die now no shame and we may die in fact it's honestly one might say likely yeah i don't like her i just don't like her Yeah, she's not, uh, honestly, I'm, I'm happy to die and, and not have to keep fighting her longer. <laughs> it's just not fun. Anyway, that's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like to subscribe and see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.